So the next application we're going to look at is Facebook and although the People Hub has Facebook integration and uh, you, know, you can get access to all your contacts uh, whether they be on your, your SIM or from an online account uh, or Facebook really it doesn't cover off um, all the functionality that, that Facebook offers so most people on Windows Phone 7 will end up getting the Facebook application it does take a while to launch, that's the downside of the application. You see it loading, loading, loading. So we're presented with the front screen. Um, you've got news feed, photos, inbox, events, etc, etc. The whole nine yards, even settings. So uh, it'll pull in your latest tweet and your profile picture. Just fire up the news feed. It goes directly into most recent, which is handy. It's most of the time this is, this is what you'll be after. You'll see the feed updates with the latest information. You can scroll through or you know, click links or whatever it be you need to, to do in there. So this in gadget story, for example, clicking on that, it's going to launch up the browser. You read the story and then return back to, to Facebook. Swiping is going to go through the panorama, top news, photos, links, videos, and, and more. So you get the idea, it covers off all the bases of, of what you typically use Facebook for. You can just pan to the right, as soon as you launch the application, top news is available there. Now these are photos from not only yourself, but friends, and just quick convenient access to the latest updated information. Events and birthdays is handled really well. They're in a combined list, so you see whose birthdays are coming up and the dates below them and the events as well notifications uh, just handled in the notification stream as you'd expect and if you want to update your own or view your own information just tap on your profile photo at the top and here's a recent photo I took at Cold Rock okay it's an issue there right across to your information that's you know all the profile informations are presented that way it's kind of nice and consistent and that's really uh, really the Facebook app let's just jump into settings and just give you a look at that so one downside to this is that uh, when you exit Facebook and go back in obviously if you're exiting to do anything else on the phone to take a call receive a message um, you will have to go through the loading of the entire application again because windows phone 7 doesn't at the moment support um, uh, fast app switching or background applications so there we go that's uh that's facebook